Hi, I'm Gemma O'Hanlon, dietitian and nutritionist at Port Innovation, Australia's research and development corporation for horticulture. Now, I've just been out in the farm seeing Michael Henry and he grows delicious apples. And I can't wait to share with you my Shilby apples recipe today. I'm Michael Henry, I'm from Henry of Harcourt. I'm an orchardist and cider maker here in Harcourt in central Victoria, where I grow apples and pears. I have about four and a half thousand trees, and in those trees I've got five varieties of eating apples, and I have 43 varieties of apples specifically for making cider out of. When we started up, we knew nothing about growing apples, simply because my parents wanted to get out of the rat race in Melbourne, and had the bright idea of buying an orchard up here in Harcourt and I got involved into it because my father tricked me by saying you only have to pick apples once a year and then have since found out that there's a lot more involved in growing apples than just picking them. What excites me most about working in the industry is the opportunities it presents for people to find business niches like I did with turning my apples into cider. Hort Innovation and their future orchards, in particular their orchard walks, helped us out quite a lot, particularly in coming up with ways of managing our cider orchards and particularly use the Tatura trellising systems and what they call the orchard of the 21st century. Part of the innovation that we're looking at here on our property is we are working with the local Nalderun tribe from the Jajawarong and they're looking at putting a bush tucker garden onto our property and we'll be using some of the fruits that they'll be growing to flavour some of our ciders. So we're looking at using indigenous fruits in our ciders. Well, you've certainly made me happy being here in the orchard with all these beautiful trees. Now I'm going to hit the road, grab some of your apples and turn them into a delicious Shilby Apples superfood salad. Thank you very much for coming out, Gemma, anytime. Now today I'm doing an apple recipe and it's a delicious salad. So I'm going to start off by just slicing this apple into fine wedges. So I'm just going to take that core out. Now we're going to keep the peel on because the peel is very appealing because it's full of antioxidants. So we've just sliced the apple up and I'm going to grab our persimmon. Now if you've never tried one of these before, I suggest you give it a go. And they're a really great source of vitamin C, vitamin A, and do you know what? When you cut through them, there's a little star inside. All right, so now what we're going to do is slice the persimmon up. You can eat persimmon like an apple, just straight whole, or you can slice it and serve it with the salad. It adds a real burst of hydration and a lovely sweetness as well. Okay, so I'm going to throw all these ingredients into my salad bowl. So I've got some fresh baby spinach. I've got my apple slices, my persimmon. I've also got some dried fruit. So in this recipe, we're using Aussie fresh fruit, dried fruit, nuts and vegetables. The whole kit and caboodle. So we've got some currants, some Aussie raisins, I've got a few goji berries as well. I love goji berries. We've also got some capers. And these add a really nice little salty note without adding any extra salt. And we've got some Aussie walnuts. And you know, these guys help improve our memory. And no surprise, because they look like a brain. Good brain food they are, full of omega-3s. So if you don't like fish, have some walnuts instead. I've also got some Australian grown chickpeas and these are going to give you the protein and the low GI carbohydrates to keep you fuller all the way through the afternoon and you won't need that 3pm you know, sugary snack when you have this salad. I've also got some purple cabbage. So I'm just going to slice this up. Look at that colour. That is all natural stuff in there. 
And the antioxidants in purple fruit and vegetables help lower our blood pressure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare our salad topper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast some pepitas. Now, they won't take long, only a couple of minutes, and these pepitas will toast up, go golden, you'll smell the aromas, and they're gonna pop up like fish out of water. And uh, they turn into these really crunchy seeds that are completely different to the raw thing. All right, so I've toasted my pepitas. They're smelling incredible. And now I'm going to make the salad dressing. And it's really simple, four ingredients. And the ratio I'm doing is two parts olive oil to one part lemon juice. And you can tell there, there you go. Spot on, the oil rises to the top. And I've got some Dijon mustard and then a pinch of black pepper. And then here's the fun part. Put that lid on and shake away. And there it is. So our dressing's done. Why would you buy a salad dressing when you can make it with fresh Australian lemon juice and extra virgin olive oil yourself? It takes two seconds, make up a big batch, stick it in the fridge, and you've got it whenever you need it. Okay, that's gonna pour over that salad. I'm not gonna drown it in dressing just enough that it coats the salad lightly. A Little bit of those pepitas. So I'm just gonna toss this just gently so all that beautiful homemade dressing is coated through the Aussie fruit and nuts. I love Aussie apples. And you know what? Just a moment ago, I was talking to Michael Henry from Harcourt, Victoria, around how he gets his apples so crisp and beautiful. The way we keep our apples so fresh is as soon as they're picked, we take them down to the cool store where they're put in a very cold environment, where we maintain a very low oxygen level in the environment, which keeps them as fresh for as long as possible. Personally, the best way to enjoy an apple is off a tree, but you can also use apples in cooking and they're very versatile. One of my favorite ways of using an apple is in a Waldorf salad. It's amazing to bring Michael Henry's fresh apples from his orchard straight here at the Pram Market to be able to include them in this beautiful salad. So I'm very pleased to have the freshest juice from Australian Olives right here with me. And the Olive Wellness Institute is a terrific website you can go to check out, olivewellnessinstitute.org for all the latest science in olives and olive oil. So it's now time to plate up our shilby apple salad. And don't forget these persimmons. Of course, if you can't find them, you might like to use some summer stone fruit instead. And to top it off, I'm just gonna finish with some of these delicious toasted pepitas. They add a lovely crunch. Now I know Michael loves turning his apples into cider and I don't mind a cider myself, but I'm sure he's gonna love the way I've turned his apples into this wholesome, nutrient-bursting salad. How do you like them apples? <laughs>